Okay, so we've had uh, a little go at creating a game. We've got a game that we can win uh, by shooting these characters. Uh, I've also put something on where I can eat an apple. Okay, so I'm just going to show you something else with collectibles. Okay, rather than just eating maybe the apple, you can collect something. Okay, and then how that will affect the scoring for, for maybe winning. Uh, so I'm going to use my Kodu character. I'm going to click here and I'm going to put in a coin. Okay, and now I've got this coin. I'm going to program this to say when uh, it bumps into Kodu. So when they hit each other, um, I want the score. I'm going to have, uh, let's go blue this time, to be plus one point. Uh, so now when I run my game, okay, I touch this coin. I get a point. Now what you might notice is there's tons and tons and tons and tons of points uh, adding up. And that's not what I really want to happen. I want it so you touch that coin and then you get a point and then the coin is effectively got. So what I can do is I can program it also to say when uh, it's bumped uh, into Kodu. I'm also going to add uh, combat and I'm going to put vanish. So it vanishes, it gets rid of it. So if I now play the game, like this, it bumps into it, it gets one point, uh, and Kodu has vanished. So we've got an issue there. So what we now need to do is go vanish me on the coin, vanish myself. So let's try that again. There we go, I've got one point and my coin has vanished. So what I have done on that coin is programmed it so when it bumps into Kodu get a score of blue of one point but also when it bumps into Kodu make me vanish. Uh, I'm now going to go onto my world settings and on blue scroll all the way down to my blue label, not my blue buttons, my blue uh, label which is here. I'm going to say loud and I'm going to call that one uh, coins. Okay, and I'm going to put my red one on and I'm going to call that one false. So when I play the game I've got apples, uh, my overall score and my coins. Uh, so when, if I move around and I, I've set it to eat, to eat this apple, so I eat the apple I get a point. Apples, uh, if I coin, I get a point for coins. And then every time I shoot one of these, I get a score. Okay. At the moment, I win when I get my score. So what I, I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up my game up with this. I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to paste it just there. And then I'm going to copy my coin. I'm going to paste my coin just there. Uh, so I can get more than one point. But now I'm going to change the scoring a little bit. What I'm going to do is I am going to program my code to say uh, when my green score equals two points, I'm now going to add one add one point to the purple score. Okay. I'm then going to copy that code and I can copy it like this. Should be able to copy. It's not. It's not liking me copying it at the moment. Let's get around to there. And copy it, uh, and then let's paste it there. Let's paste it there again. So this time I'm going to say, when I have uh, got two red points, I score a purple point. When I have got two blue points. Let's get the purple point. So now when I play my game, eat my apples, get one point there, and I collect this coin, point there. As soon as I get this second coin, I should, there we go, get points. I'm getting a lot of points. So what I now need to do, I now need to program this, so I only do that once. OK, 
Okay, and then we'll program this one to get it once, and then program this one to get it once. Okay, so now when I do this, I will do my coins first. I get my coins, so when I've got them, I get one point. Okay, so I've got two points for coins, but I've got one point overall, and the same will happen uh, for the items that I'm going to do. Shoot my boats. I don't want to get my second boat point. There we go. Well, my other apple has disappeared. Which is not great, but it's down there. So I've eaten that. So I've got two points for each of my uh, of my scoring methods. I've got three points overall. So what I'm going to do first thing is I'm going to change my purple to objectives. This is my objectives, and then I'm going to program my kodu again with another score one that now says, okay, we should be able to. Paste this one on again. It says, when I've scored, when my purple score is three, okay, then uh, we're going to win the game. So when my purple score is three, so I get one point, my objective score, which is purple, I get one for each one for um, shooting, eating, and collecting. Then when I've got those three points, I get it all together for a win. So let's have a go at that. So I eat an apple. Come in here. Going properly. Shoot. This boat. I will shoot. Eat around here. I should be able to eat that apple. There we go. So I've got two points for objectives here. I'm not getting any of my coins, so if I go and get my coins, I've got two objectives complete. So when I get this last coin, I'll get my third objective, and I'll win the game. Okay, so that is just to show you different scoring methods and how you can combine different scoring methods to make overall objectives. Uh, and say so more than you have to shoot them, you have to collect them. Uh, you have to do these different items, and then you can win the game. So have a go at that.